When using a spectrum analyzer, it's very common to measure the maximum amplitude of the signal spectrum. To make this measurement more convenient, many analyzers have a peak function that can be used to quickly locate the maximum values. Let's take a closer look at the peak function by performing a short experiment. First, use a DG4000 arbitrary waveform generator to source a 2 MHz 0 dBm square waveform and connect the output to the DSA815 spectrum analyzer. Preset the spectrum analyzer and then set the start frequency to 1 MHz, the end frequency to 20 MHz, and the reference level to 15 dBm. Let's also set the resolution bandwidth to 300 kHz. As we would expect, the screen displays the fundamental frequency, the third, fifth, seventh, and ninth harmonic components of the square wave. Now let's have a closer look at the peak function. First, press the peak button. The spectrum analyzer will search the data for the peak point of the trace and enable a normal marker that will mark the frequency and power value of that point automatically. The first peak is the square wave fundamental, and now we have quickly found its frequency and amplitude. There are several submenus that relate to the peak measurement in peak function. Let's have a closer look. Next peak is for searching the trace amplitudes that meet the specified search criteria. Let's press next peak, and you can see the marker moves to the next peak, and displays the frequency and amplitude at this point. Peak left or peak right will search for the peaks to the left or right of the current peak that meet the search specifications. After pressing peak right, the marker moves to the fifth harmonic wave. And when pressing peak left, the marker moves back to the third harmonic wave. Min search is for locating the minimum amplitude of the trace. Press min search and the marker appears at the minimum amplitude. Peak peak will mark the maximum peak with cursors. Open the marker menu to see that marker 1's type has now been changed to delta pair. Continuous peak in peak mode menu performs a peak search automatically after each sweep. For each peak measurement item, we can define peak measurement parameters. In search parameters, there are three menus, peak excursion, peak threshold, and peak search. Peak excursion sets the threshold difference between the peak and the minimum amplitude on both sides of it. Peaks whose excursions are beyond the specified difference are treated as real peaks. Peak threshold assigns a minimum value for the peak amplitude. Peaks whose amplitudes are greater than the specified peak threshold are treated as real peaks. Note that when pressing the peak button directly, the default peak search type is set to look for the maximum amplitude of the trace. To set the excursion and threshold parameters to search peaks, we need to manually set them as above. In the second page of the peak menu, peak table displays the peak values which meet the search parameters. The peak table can report up to 10 peaks. We can use the peak table here by setting the end of frequency to 40 MHz. Now we can see more harmonics of the input square wave. The analyzer can also sort the peaks by frequency or amplitude and set peak readout parameters. Normal displays the first 10 qualified peaks in the table. Greater than the display line displays the first 10 peaks that not only meet the peak search conditions, but also have amplitudes greater than the specified display line. Less than the display line displays the first 10 peaks that not only meet the peak search conditions, but also have amplitudes lower than the specified display line. Here is a summary of the peak functions. Set the suitable frequency and amplitude values to capture the full trace. Then press the peak button to get the peak readings. You can adjust search conditions according to your test needs, and then observe multi-peak readings at one time using the peak.